Yeah, and it's it's an excellent habit to have as a player to be able to express your playstyle through different characters because it's a whole different set of tools. Some players are just not ready to adapt like that. Yeah. But oh, it's looking like Idom's going to be showcasing how well he can adapt because game one we're opening up with Ed. Yeah, just as I said, you know, we've, we've been seeing the Kimberly all night, but... You know, he sees the Manon on the screen, and he's like, eh, hey, you know, let me get a character that can zone a little bit. I can rush down, you know? I think we're going to get very similar notes to what we had in our previous set, where Adon's going to have to find adjustments based off of that mid space that his opponent's able to control. But unique to this one, I feel like Shine is going to keep pedal to the metal. Yeah, and... One thing, I'm, I'm curious to see how Idom handles this matchup because I've asked him what he thinks of Ed because Ed is a character that me personally, I, although I see the results and I see so many players have switched to them, I still don't really understand what players see in him. Like, yeah, he's going to fight, but he doesn't quite look like how the other top tiers win. You know, it looks a little bit different for Ed. So Idom doesn't actually think too highly of this character either. So I want to see how he, um, how he approaches this matchup. I mean, when it comes to that mid to long range spacing, especially playing a character like Manon, like you have to figure out like where do you get to just reassert your control? When do you get to say that you are moving in and you are winning? And, and, and I don't think Shine wants to say that. Yeah, a little bit of a mental flub right there from Shine. Usually he's pretty ready to stop those drive impacts. It looks like he, he went for a two attacks and maybe canceled into a special move by accident instead of a DI. An unfortunate fumble, but I mean, hey, this ain't, this ain't the set to be doing that. And Idom is certainly the last player to be given freebies to. Oh, wow. Walked up with a level three. Not something that you typically see Idom do, but, you know, sometimes you got to represent that as part of your wake-up options. Yup. A big part of this game is how well you cycle through your wake-up options. Establish it early. Make your opponent forget they got to worry about it. Yep. And still, it keeps up that high-octane play. Game one going very confidently to Idom. And throughout all of game one, it looked like he was in the driver's seat. Wow, just busting out with the drive impact. Okay, it looks like maybe he really doesn't respect this character. <laughs> okay. All right, just stalking with that pressure, walking up. That's one of the scary things about Manon. You know, she walks up and you know that she has that really far command throw. So she forces decisions from you from, from ranges where other characters normally wouldn't. Similar to Zangief in a way in that regard. Yeah, and that's the grappler. Like, don't get grabbed. It's the most easiest set of done. But it's the buttons that aren't the grabs are the ones they have to really worry about. And I feel like uh, I don't seem doing a very good job of showcasing that. Oh, I, I, I don't going for the raw sweep right there. Shine happy to neutral jump right there. Shine taking that round, putting himself on the board, saying my Ed is no slouch. All right, no anti air right there. I was about to say. I'm very surprised because both of these players have been chilling with just their low checks, keeping someone grounded. Oh, wow. And Speaking of. Oh, wow. And Idom should be able to take this round right here. Another EX. Level two. Oh, level one will do it. Okay. Yep. That's why he's on the stage and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it did just enough. I would have risked and, and done the level two just to make sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. no. I, hey, listen, there's no shame in that, too. You want that round. Yeah. But it does mean that Idom gets to sit on a bit of meter moving into final rounds. Oh, it looks like I Oh, nice parry right there. And he recognized the height, able to get a full combo. And Idom has an interesting approach. He's just walk, kind of walking forward. Yeah. Shine not doing too many flickers or projectiles. It's forcing Shine to meet him halfway when it comes to the slower pace. Yep. Oh, and is he going to go to the dream combo? Let's see. Momochi or not? <laughs> oh, no. All right. He still got damage, though. It's really good damage, and it's really good positioning. Now in control of the corner. Plenty of opportunity yep. for Shine to just run away with it. All right. Kept it nice and simple with the meaty jab. Didn't want to risk too much there. Yep. Oh, Ooh. and JP switch. Okay, interesting. I don't said you want to play at a distance? We can play at distances. Who's bigger? Yeah, talking so much about that Ed, it went immediately to the JP <laughs> when, he, when he lost the round. Okay, Idom, I see you. But to be fair, his JP was looking very good against Picaro. Yeah, it's, it's the greatest ticket for the top four tonight. And 
shit. Even nerfs aside, still a character not to be tried for them. Yeah, it, it's certainly not a weak character. But right now, I know I'm getting a little bit mauled in the corner. Just trying to establish that full screen pressure, but you have to worry about how often Shine is going to be able to run through. Oh, and finds the opening right there with the crouching medium punch into the drive rush. Gets a lot of space to work with, but, you know, he can't keep this up all around. You know, he has to find a way to get some damage, get in there. Oh, and just like that, we saw Picado doing that, drive rushing into like a fast, long, forward-reaching move. Yep. Just to break through, get some damage. And there's a reason for it, too, because you want to stay right in that blind spot of where JP has all his projectiles out. But you also don't want to have to deal with anything he's throwing it in close range because he gets tons of damage off of that. And then just puts you right back to square one where you have to deal with finding your end. Yep. You only right. have so many resources to get through to him. All right, not going to get anything from that mid screen, but, you know, able to get the space. Sometimes that's all JP needs. Yep. Gets a nice confirmation right there. Oh, burns him out. Oh, yeah. oh, jump, okay. And this will put him right near burnout. Very bad position for JP. Yeah, one more normal will do. He's just going to do a flicker, maybe. No, oh, he's not going to get the opportunity. Is. All right, just going to block it out, yeah. Oh, nice. What a good yeah. call. He takes the game for that. Yeah, and Shine definitely, you can tell he has laughed that situation. As soon as the, the level two, the ghosts were going in other directions, he parried so he didn't have to deal with the high low and then jumped away right away just so that he didn't have to deal with the throw after that as well. Yeah. So good awareness there. You know, it's funny. We, we almost had like a bit of a role reversal there from the earlier games where there was just like a lack of respect for your chasing options. It's like, don't care about zoning. Now, we flip the hat and Shine didn't care about no zoning options yeah. at all. There was no respect for the space that JP could cover there. Yep. So, so right now, I'm choosing to ride it out with Manan. Now he has no more games to switch. He has to go all the way through to the end. And, uh, you know, he's not incapable of doing it. We saw him do take the first game. But, uh, you know, Shine lo is looking really sharp with the Ed right now. Yeah, it's it's looking really good. And it is a tall ask for Idom to be able to win off the back heel yet another set. But it's not undoable. Yeah. And there goes that pressure from... Oh, no! Oh, uh, probably trying to bait a, a reversal right there, and Shine didn't do it. Oh, big punish right there. Found the jumping. Excellent reaction from Nidon. All right, two medals, three medals. Oh, a little bit too far. too far. Oh, that's a tragedy. It was the right decision because we didn't see a counter DI from Shine, so he would have ate it, but he was just misspaced. All right. Wait, Yo, he just went and did it too. Okay. The anti shimmy special, but Shine with a good poker face right now, not unfazed. Now, both these players got to stay locked in. They got no time to be shaken by any of these options. Oh, nice drive rush check right there from Shine. Oh, he was okay. pressing? Yeah, he said punish counter, so something got pressed. Now watch those buttons. Oh, woke up with the low. Okay, interesting. All right. Now, oh, and he's finding all the right timings on the buttons right there. Oh. Nice DP. Oh, and go to the level two. Not going to get the kill, but will get the corner from it. I feel like Both all of these situations that Shine has been taking where he's able to press to the corner so that he can secure his round, it doesn't matter if he's not maxing out on damage after every interaction. Yeah, that's one of the strengths of, of Giles, uh, sorry, uh, Ed's level two, that it's almost guaranteed corner pretty much anywhere on the screen. So even if you don't get like the super dream Momochi combo, you're still going to get a good cash out from it. Like it never hurts to fight for the Twitter clip. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's if you want the style <laughs> points, you know, and the damage. But at the same time, like if you know you have a guaranteed way to put your opponent in a situation yeah. where they're just going to keep on losing, you might as well. Yeah. You don't got to win right away. You just got to win. All right, and Idom opts to burn himself out if it means that Ed gets burnt out too. Oh, and just like that, the, the charged flicker. Oh, not going to get the full punish on that. Oh, kept himself safe. 
Oh, and this should be it. Just overwhelming pressure secures it as Shine takes the set, 3-1. Idom down to third tonight. Yeah, busting out the Ed. It's, it's like I called it before they started. Shine has leveled up to a point where if you're preparing for him, you have to prepare for potentially three characters. When you have a player that can play that many characters at a high level, it makes it that much more difficult to face them because you don't really know which one they're going to bring out on you. Right. In this, in this case, it wasn't even like really a matchup thing. It was just more like, I'm just going to surprise them with this epic. Like, you know? I'm surprised it did. Yeah. It worked out extremely well. Yeah, and the, the Ed was definitely looking good. He didn't have the Momochi combos. <laughs> Got to work on those, Shine. But everything else was looking good. Yeah, and honestly, respect on Idom for trying to pick out other characters. Like, this. Okay. 